really interesting. Um, so what we're talking about now is the idiomotor response. Mm. Right? Basically, if, if I ask you to think of something, a physical action, then your body will kind of do it. Your body will have a go at doing it. Right? Speech is a very interesting aspect of that. When you're listening to the human voice, you use a different part of your brain than when you're listening to any other sound. Right? And when you listen to the human voice, you sub-vocalise what you're hearing. So as I'm talking to you now, your throats, all your kind of speech apparatus, is copying what I'm saying. Right? If you paralyse that in somebody, they can't understand what you're saying. Right? So your ability to understand what I'm saying is based in part on your ability to make the same shapes as me with your mouth and throat. Right? My argument is that this is true of everything. If I want to teach you something physical and I show you, let's say you'd never picked up a cup of coffee before, and I said, this is how you pick up a cup of coffee, right? and you drink it like this. Right? All of you now, on a subconscious level, are mimicking what I'm doing. Yeah? Because that's how we learn. It means that when you now have give it a go, for real, you, you, your body's already had a go. Yeah? You see this loads of when people watch sport. You know, if, some, if you're watching boxing, it's a whole bunch of people watching boxing, and they're all doing like this. <laughs> right? But even if, they, even if they appear to be perfectly still, actually, they're making very small movements. And it's those small movements that I...